twin engine jet, the first 111 in America, and have since placed 13 more 111s on our short haul routes. Then we ordered 320Cs, long range intercontinental Boeings for South American and military service, and 727 quick change jets for medium range routes and the launching of a brand new cargo service. These are being placed in our schedules now. Soon, we will be an all-turbine airline. We doubled our service between the United States and South America and added new non-stops to Panama, Bogota, and Lima. We introduced the first direct jet service to Acapulco and doubled our service to Mexico City. We applied for important new routes in the United States, Canada, South America, and the Pacific. Doubled service for New York, Chicago, Washington, Houston, and most of our other cities. Inaugurated a complete round-the-clock jet schedule in the Atlantic and Pacific for the Military Airlift Command. Our on-time performance is being stepped up with the installation of computerized preventive maintenance and computerized flight planning. Passengers are being processed faster with innovations like drive-in ticket offices, simple write-your-own tickets, permanent baggage checks, and a luggage handling system that has cut our average claim area delivery down to six minutes. In terms of service, routes, and performance, Braniff International is already a vastly different airline from the old Braniff Airways. But the change taking place at Braniff is a total one. A change that is making Braniff International completely different. Air travel is taken for granted, and more and more, each flight is a repeated, predictable experience, familiar and forgettable. The shame of it is, it doesn't have to be. Travel to your destination could be as exciting as the destination itself. It ought to be. It ought to be pleasure in itself. It should have style and flair and surprise. And the place to start is in the way air travel looks. This is the importance of the change that Braniff is introducing. It isn't simply a change in the look of an airline. It's a change in the look of air travel. Emilio Pucci is one of the world's most exciting, most creative fashion designers. We went to Pucci because we wanted something more exciting for our people than traditionally conservative look-alike uniforms. We wanted our hostesses and flight crews to be the distinctive focal point of our new look in air travel. Pucci introduced our high fashion airline collection along with his regular designs at his annual Florence showing and the airline clothing stole the show. The collection was a dramatic realization of our promise that air travel could have style, flair, surprise. Hostesses appear in not just one colorful costume, but make up to six changes during any one flight. We call it the air strip. There are reversible coats, a raspberry suit, Jersey turtleneck, culottes, and a brand new idea in fashion, the Puccino, a serving dress specially designed to be practical and beautiful at the same time. Colored and zippered boots, striking scarf hats, a fur coat for the winter flights to Greenland, Iceland, and the polar routes, derby hats, Short dresses and leotards in Pucci prints. Plastic astronaut helmets, see-through raincoat and rain boots. Pucci, who is himself an ex-Italian Air Force pilot, possesses not only an uncanny knack for making women look more like women, but for making men look more like men. His ideas for our ground crew, purser and pilot's uniforms are as successful as anything he has ever created. 
They provide an atmosphere of drama and respect that make Braniff Cruz unique. As the designs for our hostesses developed, it became apparent that they were going to be so dramatically different that a new look should be created for the girls themselves. Contemporary hair arrangements to complement the couture wardrobe. Makeup styling, accenting the natural look created by Evelyn Marshall. Alexander Girard is one of the giants of contemporary architectural and interior design. An expert on Indian and South American art, owner of a world-famous collection of primitive handicraft, he has been a leader in the current movement to a new, bold use of color in buildings, rooms, furniture, and fabrics. While Pucci was at work on our new airline clothing, we approached Gerard with the enormous job of creating a new styling concept for the facilities and equipment of air travel. We picked Gerard for the same reason we picked Pucci. We wanted a dramatically new sense of flair and fun for the people who fly with Brandon. the starting point for the transformation. Rich, extravagant color. From Herman Miller, maker of some of the most expensive fabrics in the world, Gerard selected warm reds and yellows, deep greens and blues, thick textured materials to begin the job of changing the environment of air travel. draped in the new fabrics, and Gerard set it off with soft, neutral tones for interior walls and floors. service was completely revamped. New stainless flatware, fine china and crystal. Menu cards were redesigned, match covers and cigarette boxes, even salt and pepper packs. And with the new service came new cocktails. The margarita. 
the Pisco Sour. And new menus supervised by executive chef Willie Roselle with the counsel of our board of international chefs. New hors d'oeuvres. entrees and desserts, exciting new after-dinner drinks, the cappuccino made of coffee, chocolate, and brandy. Color, flair, style, the airstrip, new service, new interiors, new menus. But air travel doesn't begin there, it begins with planes. And the boldest, purest statement of air travel's new look is the look of the planes themselves. Orange. Ochre. Blue. Beige. Light blue. Lemon. And turquoise. Seven different interiors. You can fly granite seven different times and never fly in the same color airplane twice. on the ground as well as in the air. Baggage wagons, fuel trucks, air conditioners, tractors, boarding stairs, cranes. Braniff flies its colors everywhere across the field and it all adds to the fun. <music> Ticket offices, group meeting rooms, passenger lounges. They're part of air travel too, and they're part of Graniff International's new ideas. Some are under construction. Most are ready now. All of them contribute to the colorful adventure of air travel with Braniff. <music> Artifacts from Mexico and South America. Custom-made furniture. The concept extends to the smallest detail. Baggage checks, stationery, playing cards, posters, ticket envelopes. Flair, style, verb, surprise, fun. The newest look in air transportation, the new excitement of Braniff, is the new excitement of air travel. All this added to new standards of on-time performance, 
new convenience and new service has already made Braniff International a completely different airline. A new kind of airline. And it's only the beginning. hostess meets you on the airplane. She'll be dressed like this. When she brings you your dinner, she'll be dressed this way. After dinner on those long flights, she'll slip into something a little more comfortable. The airstrip is brought to you by Braniff International, who believes that even an airline hostess should look like a girl. The capital of Ecuador is split in two. Old Quito, with lots of native atmosphere. New Quito, a first-rate hotel, pool, and casino. Punta is an offbeat hideaway on the Pacific coast of Ecuador, about two years away from being a top resort. Cartagena is a real sleeper in Colombia. Could be one of these spots in South America. More Spanish than Spain, with good beaches, plenty to do and see. A sleepy fishing village in Colombia. The charming Hotel Baracuca built into a mountain. Good fishing and just a short hop from Bogota. Braniff International knows a marvelous, almost unknown island resort. South America. Don't expect revolutions, and don't expect just another Caribbean island. It's more like Europe before the tourist stampede. Braniff knows the first-rate hotels and the off-beat hideaways. Braniff knows the beaches and where the action is. South America has a lot that's primitive, a lot that's modern, and a lot of surprises. Last year, Braniff International completely redesigned its airline. And we wondered if people would like it. Now, uh, we wonder if people like it a little too much. Oh, we're not against souvenir hunting. So long as it doesn't get out of hand.
baggage handling is a baggage handling is a very important part of running an airline. And we at Braniff are always checking to make sure things go smoothly. This week I'm sending myself to St. Louis. The idea is always to keep the baggage ahead of the passengers. But we never treat the baggage like baggage. We're fast, but gentle. Gentle? Uh, this is the most boring part of my job. Let's face it, in here, if you're not a suitcase, there just aren't any kicks. <laughs> the home stretch. This year, we've cut our average delivery time from nine minutes to a breathtaking six minutes, five seconds. Possibly a new world's record. Gee, I wonder what's keeping the guy who's supposed to pick me up. Right up. 